The energy transition is not moving anything fast enough, so the global net zero by 2050 looks increasingly in doubt. To relieve lecture uncertainty, the analysis team has added delayed energy transition scenario to an existing range of potential outcomes. Why we need a delayed scenario is a question of pragmatism. COP28 last November revealed no major countries on track to meet their commitment to the Paris aligned pathway of two degrees or lower. On top of that, all governments were prioritizing energy security in the world turned upside down by pandemic and Russian invasion of the Ukraine. The global economy still runs on the fossil fuels. The desired a low carbon energy system that all world wants and will eventually enhance the national energy security will take a year to roll out. It will also be expensive. Capital intensive technologies such as green hydrogen and CCUS are not commercially viable without hefty subsidies. Higher interest rates have further eroded the economy.